Aloha, my name is Kavika Lam Nalmida. Uh, today we are going to show you the process of how to prep your feathers for our Lehulu workshop. Um, your feathers will come in two ounce bags like this. Um, in order to prep, you would have to take them all out. They'll come in strings like this. They're all sewn together on the bottom. So you definitely have an edge that is harder, or the quill edge, and then an edge that is softer, which is the tips, which is what you're gonna use. So when handling the feathers for cleaning, you do not wanna touch the front too hard. You're always gonna handle the part that is sewn together. In the beginning, what you wanna do is just pull them apart. So you're gonna break the thread that's sewn together, and then you're gonna take apart each one. You're gonna grab the base of the feather or the harder part of the quill, and pull forward, up and out, so that you get each individual feather. You don't wanna pull from the tops, so do not pull from here, but always pull from the bottom, out and away from you. Once you're done with that, you're gonna need a pillowcase. This pillowcase should not be a pillowcase you're gonna use because some of the excess dye will come out and stain your pillowcase a little bit. Um, so this should be an old pillowcase that is just gonna be used specifically for feathers. Um, if you're going to start doing multiple colors, you're going to want different pillowcases for different colors uh, so that they don't bleed into each other. When you do use your pillowcase, you want to make sure you turn it inside out so that the seams are on the outside because when you do the drying process, if you don't turn it inside out, your feathers will get caught in here and they will be all bent. They'll be bent and unusable. Once you have them all separated like this, you're going to put them into your pillowcase. So we have some in here now that are all separated like this. Put them into your pillowcase. You're gonna wanna bunch it at the top. And you're gonna tie the top with a twine. Make sure it's tied really tight. And tie it as far up the seam as you can. Just wrap it. And then you're going to want to knot it once, wrap some more, and then do another two knots on the top. So it's closed like this. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the outside of this, you're gonna mist it with a little bit of water, put it into your dryer for 45 minutes. That's gonna steam the feathers on the inside. So any of the feathers that are damaged in transport or not damaged, but like they're all packed in. So they're really tight. Um, what this process is gonna do, is gonna fluff up the feather a little bit more and it's gonna re-zip the barb rolls so that you don't have separation in the feathers. Some of the other supplies that you'll be able to get in your kit will be a pair of clippers, a measuring gauge, a measuring ruler, thread. I like to use embroidery thread. Poly cotton thread is normal, um, but embroidery thread, because when I pull, I tend to pull on the thread a little bit harder so I tend to break it a little bit more so that's why I use a thicker thread. One of the other things that you're going to probably want to invest in is a lint roller because once you start pulling all of this out you're going to see blue like in this case blue fluff all over the place so you're going to want to make sure your area stays clean. Um, I don't recommend doing this outside uh, because of the wind. If you haven't a place that's not as windy outside, that would be great, um, but any little gust of wind and you'll lose feathers. Again, it does take all two ounces to make one lay. Um, so try as much as you can to, when you're taking apart the feathers, do it in a semi-enclosed area like a garage, but someplace that you can easily clean. And that's how we are going to prep all of your feathers. Uh, we'll have 
how to measure and start sizing your feathers when we're ready to make our class in our next segment. Mahalo. Mahalo for subscribing to Aloha Hula Supplies Media Access. We look forward to building our network and perpetuating our cultures together. Stay tuned for upcoming new content and be sure to follow us on our social media outlets. Aloha.